When you make and save a new log in Playlist, Music One makes two files. First, it creates its own log file. This one is named year, month, day, dot log. It is saved into a subfolder of the Music One SE folder on your C drive named Logs. You can see where this name is assigned on the System Parameters window. You'll see a directories field labeled Log. If you have licenses for two or more stations, each one will need to have its own Logs folder. If you type a different name into the Log field, Music One will create another subfolder with that name and will then save the log files for that library there. As it creates the log file each day, Music One also creates a playlist file, and it's that file that's used by SAM or other playout systems. This one will have a .m3u extension, and it's normally date named year year month month day day. You tell Music One where to save this playlist file on the system automation screen. Here you'll see another field labeled log folder or playlist folder, depending on the version of Music One that you're using. The name you enter here will become the folder where Music One saves the playlist files for each day. You can save both the log file and the playlist file into the same folder if you want. They'll be named differently and have different extensions. That's how I've done it in this example. This is the Music One log file for 2008, October the 10th. As Music One created and saved this log file, it also created the playlist file. 08 is the year, 10 the month, 10 the day. It has a .m3u extension. This m3u playlist is the one that's used by SAM Broadcaster. A file of this type can also be used by many other webcast systems. That extension, the .m3u, means it's an audio media playlist file. Because Windows Media Player is the default media player on my computer here, Windows automatically assigned the Windows Media icon to that file. If the default media player was set to be Winamp or Real Player, then Windows would assign one of those icons to this file. If I were to double click on this file right now, it would launch my Windows Media Player and begin playing the songs in the list. This file is the one that will be used by your webcasting system. If you're using SAM, you'll create a PAL script, a simple set of programming instructions that will tell SAM to automatically load the next day's playlist each night at midnight. If you're using another webcasting playout system, it'll have a way to load and start the next day's playlist at midnight also. Usually, to avoid any confusion, people will have Music One create one folder for its own logs and another for the playlist files. You could just change the folder name here to Playlists. Music One would then create a subfolder and put the M3U playlist into that one, and it would continue putting its own log files into the Logs folder. And again, if you have more than one license, it'll be very important that each library database have its own folders for playlists and log files.